Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany. I'm here to let you know that this video is one of a series of videos on this subject. So I was inspired in the middle of the night. I woke up and I had this idea that I could create a decision flow chart for each of the human design energy types and its authority. I want you to know that I'm taking a topic that is very nuanced, that it can be complicated at times, and I'm distilling it into a simple flow chart. Please keep this in mind when you're watching the video for your energy type and your authority. It's nuanced, but it's a great way of just kind of mapping out and just showing you the steps. If we were to slow down our decision-making process and really tune into our strategy and authority, and how those two things work together, the flow chart is gonna give you a, just a very simple distilled version of how it might look in a very perfect situation. And before I get into the decision flow chart for your energy type and authority, I just wanna let you know that you can find me at www.aluxuriousmind.com. I wanna let you know that there are multiple ways to work with me there. I have some courses on human design. I just released a course called Unlock Your Money Code. And I have a free library of all kinds of good things that you can check out. And there's no strings attached. I'm not even asking for an email for my stuff in my free library. So if that is of interest to you, go ahead and pop over there as well when you get done with this video. Okay, so you are a projector with mental authority. So how do you, as a projector, navigate and make decisions using your strategy and authority, and especially if you have mental authority? So as you know, projector's strategy is waiting to be invited. Waiting to be invited, the invitation can be literal or it can be more energetic. Examples of literal invitations are job postings on the internet, somebody asking you to apply for a job, somebody asking you to come onto your, their team, somebody asking you for very specific advice, like, hey, what do you recommend I do for the XYZ situation? And then energetic invitations can be more subtle. It's going to be somebody signs up for your newsletter somebody is following you on a social channel or commenting on the things that you're doing. It can be a conversation that you're having with somebody and they just seem very curious or interested in you and you feel energetically that if you were to offer some advice or offer some, some wisdom, they'd be pretty receptive to it. So in this flow chart, we receive an invitation. So let's say you receive an energetic invitation to go to the Bahamas on a vacation with people that you mostly don't know. Maybe you have one friend and she's like, hey, go to this vacation with me, but there's all these other people you don't know. That's the invitation. Next, tune in. Does this thing align with my passions, my curiosities, my interests, my hobbies, my skill sets, my talents? If the answer is yes, then you're going to want to move on to the next step. If the answer is no, then consider maybe you're not into going on vacations where there's 80% of the people you don't know. So let's say the answer is yes. You need to think of mental authority as your brain having two sides. So we know that there's a right side of the brain and there's a left side of the brain, right? But think about your brain as having an intuitive side that just knows things. And then the logical side that is tying things to logic, that's taking in information, that's taking in facts, putting out facts. When you have mental authority, you are just going to know things and you don't know why it just makes lot. It just makes sense to you. Your mind, it's just like, it just makes sense for me to do this thing. I don't know why, but I just need to do this thing. Or I don't know why, but this thing doesn't make sense. So I'm not going to do it. That's how that mental authority is going to speak to you. So if something aligns with your passions, interests, your skill set, you know, a job opportunity or going on this vacation, note that initial intuitive hit. Does the thing make sense to you or not make sense to you? And you don't know why. That's the first question. If it does make sense to you, then obviously that's a yes. But let's say that you are 
unsure and you don't have a clear answer and you're even thinking, Tiffany, I don't even know how to tell. Like, is this my brain talking or is this my intuitive voice talking to me? I have no idea. Understand that a lot of times, this is for every authority type in human design, the voice of the mind is going to get in the way of listening to our intuition for every authority type and for mental authority. So what is the voice of the mind sound like? The voice of the mind is going to be very practical. It's going to be very logical. Things can be traced back to logic. If I do X, then Y will happen. So if I take this job, then I make that much money and that's what I need in my life versus I should just take this job because it makes sense to me. It, I, I kind of don't know why, but I'm feeling like this is the right direction to go. The mind also tells stories. It tells us we should do things. So if you're feeling should, if you're, that word should is coming up in your mind as you're thinking about this decision you want to make, oh, I should go because I feel obligated or I, I should do this or I should not apply for this job because I don't have the right credentials, things like that. That's the voice of the mind. That is not your intuition. Your intuition is that it's that thing, that knowing inside of you that just makes sense, whether the answer is yes or no, and it cannot be grounded in logic. It's not traced back to a story about yourself, a story about the job, a story about your life situation. It's just the thing that just at the root, it just makes sense to me. Also, try tuning into your body. Does the idea of this thing make me feel contracted? Like, oh no, like something's not right. Does it make you feel expansive, free, clear, good? That's one way to know. So the free, clear, and good is feeling expansive is a yes. Feeling contracted, unsure is a no. And again, it all comes down to paying attention to that intuition within us, that, that, that sense in the moment, especially when you have mental authority of this just makes sense to me. I don't know why. That's really what it comes down to. So I recommend that if you have not tried leaning into your authority, your mental authority, and you want to play with it in baby steps and maybe not use it for big decisions quite yet, like choosing a job or committing to a huge vacation or something like that, just play with your mental authority when you're shopping. Maybe you're shopping for plants and you're trying to find a new plant for your house and you just go through the go through the store and just like be like that plant just makes sense, I don't know why. And try it with random things. Maybe you're shopping for home decor, and you're looking at paintings or pictures or whatever and just walk through the store and be like that one, I want that, but I kind of don't know why. Like that's that feeling, that vibe of how that voice is going to speak to you. So if you can practice it on micro things, things that don't matter as much, even if you don't buy the painting, like I, I see that that's my intuition telling me that's the one that's right for me or something similar to that is right for me, even if you decide not to pull the trigger. All right, so I hope this information was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know.